Hey there, tech enthusiasts. This is Michael Forrester here from CoCloud to talk to you about microservices. Today, we are unraveling the potent world of microservices, a concept that has been reshaping the landscape of software architecture for a couple of years. But what exactly are microservices? Let's dive in. Microservices represent a distinctive method of developing software systems and software architecture that stresses the creation of a single function application and module, and that module has a well-defined interface by which you can talk to it. Picture moving from a sprawling mansion with many interconnected rooms to a community of individual self-contained houses that use a common road to talk to each other. Now, how you get into each house might be very specific, but the path to get there is just across the network, but they tell you how to get into that particular house so that that house could be made of wood, one can be made of brick, and that essentially is the leap from monolithic inside of a mansion to a microservices architecture where you've got many different houses that are all operating independently. But why is this approach gaining traction? Let's dissect a little bit of the core principles that underlie microservices, and we'll draw upon some of the expertise shared by industry veteran Martin Fowler. So number one, one of the key characteristics of a microservice is that each microservice houses a specific business and technical function. It operates independently. This could be reporting, customer profile, etc. But this level of like segregation facilitates flexibility and a quicker response to the rapidly changing demands of both a business and a technical landscape. That's number one, is that one microservice does one thing and it does it really well. Two, autonomous development and deployment, which basically means independence, right? Microservices champion the cause of independence. Each microservice unit, each microservice app can be developed, deployed, and scaled independently by different teams using different technologies, then they align with the specific requirements of the service. So you can have one team deploying every week, another deploying every day. They can use completely different technologies. This autonomy is amazing. Number three, decentralized governance. So microservices foster a decentralized data management approach because with each microservice, you could have a, a database behind it, but one service won't talk to another service's database directly. It'll talk service to service. So this way, different services can be built using different languages and different backend databases, and it, it promotes rich diversity and innovation because of those common interfaces that microservices use to talk to each other. Last but not least is small endpoints, but dumb pipes. This is number four. In a microservices architecture, the complexity is pushed to the applications. The network, the bus, the path that they take to talk to each other is just a straightforward, simple conduit. So you channel requests and you get access to data, but there's in the pipe itself, you don't use a bus or any other, like a database to kind of facilitate business logic. It's contained in the endpoints. So in conclusion, microservices are fundamentally about harnessing the power of small, focused, independent services, independent applications that communicate over standard protocols and following a published standardized application programming interface. And so this revolutionary architecture pattern promises and promotes the swift development, effortless scalability, and a playground for technology diversity. So as we conclude this deep dive, it's evident that microservices hold the promise of a flexible and dynamic future for software development, allowing you to marry speed and scalability. So if you like this and you want to hear more about it, this is part one of five. We're going to be diving into other aspects of microservices. If you have any questions or you want to know about some specific access, catch us on Slack, catch us on our community, hit in the comments, hit subscribe, and keep up to date with microservices. I'm Michael Forrester. Thanks for listening.